the Feast of the Dead. And um, it is a magical interval when the laws of time and space are temporarily suspended and the thin veil between the worlds is lifted. So now is the time for, um, you know, remembering those who have passed on, communicating with our ancestors, you know, spending time with our, with our ancestors and our loved ones that have departed and moved on. Um, you know, you might choose to give offerings to your ancestors around this time. Today, a lot of practitioners carry out the tradition of leaving food for offerings, um, leaving food offerings on the altars and the doorsteps for, um, for the wandering souls. So, um, also, they might leave candles lit and, you know, they might leave it on the windowsill to help guide the spirits of our ancestors, you know. Also, they might set um, extra chairs, you know, set extra chairs at the table, you know, for, for our unseen guests, you know, we do that. Um, during this time of year, they also, um, they carve, uh, pumpkins or turnips or squash, carve them out to look like protective spirits. And that's where the jack-o'-lantern and everything comes from. Um... Yeah, this, this is a night of both magic and chaos. So we love this time of year. We love Halloween. Um, this is also the time where we celebrate the end of the summer and we, pre we uh, prepare for the winter season better than any other season. I just like the cold. And you would never think that about me. Now would you? So. Um, Halloween is celebrated as a time when, you know, one's inner self or that shadow self can be explored through the use of a costume. And people of all ages can indulge in their fantasies by wearing costumes that um, that are, that allow for role playing. You know, we all like to play the roles. You know, and and it gives them permission to release that demonic core. <laughs> Okay, they, they, they hide that part of their personality, you know, they hide that from their friends and their co-workers and their family members, you know what I'm saying, but on Halloween, you have permission, you have, you have permission to, uh, to dress up and to role play, okay, well, you know, I'm always dressing up, I'm always role playing. So, um, you know, so that's a tradition that we have in the United States, okay, where we, um, we dress up in costumes and disguises, and it might be scary costumes, or it might be whatever, whatever you want to be, you can be for Halloween. You could be whatever you want to be for Halloween. You could be whoever you want to be for Halloween. Okay, you might want to be a sexy nun. <laughs> you might want to be 
A devil, a sexy devil. You might want to be a skeleton. You might want to be anything. You could be anything. You could be anything you want to be. You could live your dream on that day. On that night, that special night. So, um, you know, jack-o'-lanterns, like this one, as protection from evil spirits. Okay? Now, not everybody knows about Halloween, so that's why I decided to do this video, because everybody don't know. Yeah, so. And on this night, you know, we, we, we look at these people that, you know, people that, that really, really want to, they want to show their dark side. They want to express that, that dark side, you know, and they don't get to do that. So on Halloween, they get to do that. You know, it gives them permission. So, you know, I smile at them. Because this is the only time that, you know, I'm really accepted as a witch. You know, you tell somebody any other time, they looking at you like, now let's stay away from her. Let's not go to her house. <laughs> but see, during Halloween, everybody is dressing up. Everybody want to be a witch. Everybody wants to get to attract uh, prosperity. I didn't have any, so that's why I'm using this kind. But cinnamon incense, patchouli, any of those are good. Okay. Um, so I have sweet patchouli, I don't know if you can see that, but I have, I have one, two, I have six oils. I have um, some oil for protecting your money. I have some oil for, okay, this is a protection against um, any um, witchcraft that might be sent my way to try to hinder this work. So this, this is for protection as well. This is for attracting money, attracting wealth. And I also have some oil for rapid luck. And I have tick oil, and I use the tick oil so that money, prosperity can stick. Okay? You're going to need some cinnamon, some ground cinnamon, or you can use the sticks, cinnamon sticks. Um, you're going to need eight cloves. Well, you know, sometimes I use a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but I think I might just like, I might use more than eight, but no less than eight cloves. You need some chia seeds.